Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 23rd through the 29th. This is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising Signs. For this reading, Gemini, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck along with the magical messages from the Fairies Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, I have Three of Pentacles. All right, so with the Three of Pentacles, someone could, uh, some of you, excuse me, could be very focused on your work, uh, really doing a good job. This is a worker energy, so some of you, maybe within your career, um, you might be very, very focused on your job. Now, the Three of Pentacles um, also represents teamwork. So maybe this week for some of you could be working within like a, a team or a group setting. Maybe normally you work by yourself, but this week you're working with uh, other people. Um, also, the Three of Pentacles can, can represent you being watched within the workplace. Uh, if you're the boss, you could be watching some employees or something like that. But I see you very focused and I see you working very hard and financially, I definitely see um, you know, your hard work paying off here because I feel that many of you financially are in a good place. You feel financially secure, uh, definitely. And with the overall energy being the Six of Pentacles, for me, this is all about balance. So I think that some of you definitely feel you know, financially secure. You know, maybe previously you could have been struggling, but now you know, you're in a good place. You feel very stable. The Six of Pentacles can also represent you being quite generous. So there could be some Geminis that you're, you're, you could be receiving some sort of generosity, definitely for some of you, but also you could be very generous uh, yourself this week. Some of you could be hearing from a company or maybe the government, or this could even be like a legal matter or maybe even like a bank, maybe you're receiving a loan, you're receiving something this week, you could be signing some important papers, things like that. Um, and I see a lot going on here. You actually have a great spread with the Knight of Rods here. You know, you've been working maybe towards something, maybe waiting on something, and now the energy is picking up here with the Knight of Rods. Things could be happening very suddenly. There could be a lot going on. Travel could be in the cards for some of you. We have the Knight of Rods with the Lover's card, which the Lover's card does represent your sign. For some of you, this is you. You could, you could have a lot going on, definitely a lot going on. Um, but with the Knight of Rods, he represents travel, movement, and then we also have the Four of Rods here. So this is my Happy Home card. So there could be some Geminis you're moving house. If you're waiting on a decision about a home, you could be receiving that um, here this week. If you're waiting on like a loan to come through, that could be taking place. A decision could be significant for some of you. And then for other Geminis, a relationship definitely could be significant. We have the Lover's card here. I also have the Two of Cups here. So for some of you watching this, this is definitely a relationship matter. That's significant. Now, the Four of Rods for me can represent marriage, family matters, um, but marriage. And then we also have the Hierophant. Along with that Lover's card and then the Two of Cups, a relationship could be very significant. So some Geminis, you could be getting married. So if that's the case, congratulations. Or you could be moving in with your partner. You could be buying a home together, something like that. With this, with this combination, there could be some Geminis that you're committing to someone. You're getting into maybe a more traditional relationship with this person. And with the Knight of Rods energy, this could be actually be happening very quickly. With the Knight of Rods and the Magician here, this is something that you're maybe manifesting here. You're manifesting something new for yourself. You have everything you need to be successful. You're definitely empowered. This is a great creative energy. So for some of you, you could be creating uh, this happy home, definitely especially if you're moving in with your partner, just creating a lot of, you know, happiness in your life with the, with the four of rods here. This is a card of celebrations and just good times, making memories. So for some of you with your significant other or with your family, if you have a family, you know, that's what I see you doing. 
If you have a family, you might be traveling, you and your husband, your significant other, you could be bringing the kids somewhere. It could be something like that. With the Hierophant here, you could definitely be signing something. Some of you could be purchasing a home or signing a lease. For some of you, it could be landing a new job if you're waiting on a decision for maybe the company that you work for or even to be able to maybe move up within the company that you work for that could be taking place definitely this week I see success with the six of rods here this is a card of victory success you feeling proud of yourself also for those of you that were feeling challenged previously this is things moving forward with the six of rods and then the knight of rods mirroring it I mean this is pretty amazing the only caution I have for you, Gemini, this week would be for you to stay out of your head with the Nine of Swords. But this can represent you having, you know, you have so much going on and maybe things happening so quickly here. You could just simply be lacking in the sleep department. So needing to get more rest, really needing to look after yourself, take care of yourself here, make sure you're getting enough sleep. For those of you that this is worry or anxiety or nervous energy here, you know, just try to stay positive. Maybe you're getting into a relationship or you're moving in together and it's a little nerve wracking. So just have faith with the higher font, the nine of swords, have faith, stay positive, keep yourself balanced. And that's emotionally as well. You're going to be successful. You're going to be successful with whatever this is. This is wonderful. And, you know, with the three of pentacles, it's all about hard work. So, you know, you're working on something, you're, you're, you're devoting a lot of time and energy into something and you're going to reap those rewards. Also, you know, this could be you and your partner working together. For those of you that are maybe moving in together or moving to a new house with your partner, you know, maybe you're going to be fixing it up or something like that. You and your partner could be working together on something. So if you're single, you know, get out and mingle. You possibly could be meeting someone for you single Geminis. And this could be happening very suddenly. Potentially, this person could be a Taurus. This person could be uh, a Sagittarius Leo or Aries. Even maybe a Virgo or even uh, another Gemini like yourself. So, And then for those of you that are already involved with someone, I mean, this could be just an amazing week for you guys. You know, a, a very passionate week for some of you. But then I also see you developing that that emotional bond, that spiritual connection as well. Um, so really spending a lot of time with that other person, getting to know them on a deeper level, and just really, you know, making memories here. So it's, it's going to be a wonderful week for you guys. I love this energy. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. Additional guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Please show me. Gemini. All right, so I have three cards here. None of them are upright. I'm going to choose from these. Okay, so that's interesting. We have get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So exercise, paying attention to your health, making sure that you're getting enough sleep so you can exercise no one wants to exercise when you know they're sleep deprived and they don't have the energy so really paying attention to your health some of you need to get out and about especially those of you that are single get out get out and about maybe start like a new exercise routine and as you're doing that and you're taking care of yourself you never know love could find you because we have the lover's card we have the two of cups here so some of you could be getting into a relationship very quickly this whole thing could be coming about quite suddenly with this energy so get some exercise all right gemini so i hope that you found this reading helpful if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you are interested in receiving a private reading please check out northeasttarot.com i wish you a wonderful week take care